Welcome back to Healthy Lifestyle with Saira. In today's video, we are going to talk about a very important topic that is why do our bodies age? Are scientists learning to reverse aging? Aging refers to the physiological changes we experience during our lifespan. It's also an inevitable part of life. After all, our cells aren't made up to last forever. The structures and functions in our cells decline over time. But why does this happen? Scientists are working to understand the biological causes of aging in the hope of one day offering tools to slow or stop its visible signs and more importantly, age-related diseases. Aging is a complex and multifaceted process that is influenced by a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Some of the key factors that contribute to aging include Number 1 is DNA damage and aging. DNA damage is a major contributor to the aging process. Our cell's DNA is constantly exposed to damage from environmental factors like UV radiation, smoking and pollution, as well as errors during DNA replication. When left unrepaired, this damage can lead to Telomere shortening. DNA damage can accelerate telomere shortening, which is a natural process that limits cell division. Shorter telomeres can lead to cellular apoptosis, which is a cell death. Epigenetic changes. DNA damage can alter epigenetic markers, influencing gene expressions and leading to cellular dysfunction. Mutation and genomic instability. Accumulated DNA damage can result in mutations, chromosomal instability, and epimutations, disrupting cellular function and promoting aging. Cellular senescence DNA damage can trigger cellular senescence in which cells cease to divide. Senescent cells can accumulate with age and contribute to aging phenotypes. Inflammation DNA damage can trigger chronic inflammation, a known driver of aging and age-related diseases. Mitochondrial dysfunction DNA damage in mitochondrial DNA can disrupt mitochondrial function, leading to energy metabolism decline and aging phenotypes. Stem cell exhaustion DNA damage can deplete stem cell populations, reducing their ability to maintain tissue homeostasis and contribute to aging. Glycation and oxidative stress. DNA damage can lead to the accumulation of advanced glycosamation and products and reactive oxygen species, promoting oxidative stress and aging. The accumulation of DNA damage over time can contribute to the aging process by disrupting cellular function, leading to tissue dysfunction and age-related diseases. Number 2 is problem with chromosomes. Chromosomes play a crucial role in the aging process. Its examples include telomeres. The protective caps on the chromosomes ends, shorten with each cell division. When telomeres become too short, cells enter the state of senescence or undergo apoptosis. This process contributes to aging and age-related diseases. Apoptosis means cell death. This process contributes to aging and age-related diseases. Epigenetic changes such as DNA methylation and histone modifications also occur as we age. These changes can affect gene expression leading to cellular dysfunction and aging. Chromosomal instability Having an abnormal number of chromosomes and chromosomal deletions can also drive aging and cancer. Research on chromosomes and aging is ongoing, but it's clear that chromosomal changes play a significant role in the aging process. Another cause that contributes to the aging process is problem with mitochondria. Mitochondria, the powerhouse of cells, play a vital role in aging. Here is how mitochondrial dysfunction contributes to aging. Mitochondrial DNA mutations. Mitochondrial DNA mutations can lead to impaired energy production, 
causing cells to age prematurely. Oxidative stress. Mitochondria generate reactive oxygen species as a byproduct of energy production. When reactive oxygen species accumulate, they can damage cellular components, contribute to aging. Mitochondrial dysfunction. As mitochondria age, their function declines, leading to reduced energy production, increased oxidative stress, and cellular senescence. Mitochondrial dynamics. Imbalance in mitochondrial dynamics, including mitochondrial fragmentation and decreased mitochondrial biogenesis, can contribute to aging. Mitochondrial stress signaling. Mitochondrial stress can activate signaling pathways that promote aging and age-related diseases. Mitochondrial epigenetic changes. Epigenetic modifications such as DNA methylation can also impact mitochondrial function and contribute to aging. Mitochondrial dysfunction is thought to be a key driver of aging and age-related diseases, including neurodegenerative disorders and cancer. Another one is problems disposing of bad proteins. Another great question. Problems disposing of bad proteins, also known as protein clearance, can contribute to aging in several ways. Protein aggregation. Misfolded protein can aggregate and form insoluble structures that are toxic to cells, contributing to aging and age-related diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Proteostasis collapse. When protein clearance mechanisms are overwhelmed, proteostasis, which means the regulation of protein synthesis, folding and degeneration, collapses, leading to the accumulation of damaged proteins. Cellular toxicity. Buildup of damaged proteins can lead to cellular toxicity, inflammation and oxidative stress, driving aging and age-related diseases. Atrophagy dysfunction. Atrophagy, a key mechanism for protein clearance, declines with age, contributing to the accumulation of damaged proteins. Ubiquitin proteasome system dysfunction. The ubiquitin proteasome system and other protein clearance mechanism can also become dysfunctional with age, leading to protein accumulation. Epigenetic changes. Protein clearance problems can also lead to epigenetic changes influencing gene expression and driving aging. The accumulation of damaged protein is thought to be a key driver of age and age-related diseases, including neurodegenerative disorder and cancer. Another cause of aging is problems disposing of bad cells. Problems disposing of bad cells, also known as cellular clearance, can contribute to aging in several ways. Apoptotic cell clearance. Failure to remove apoptotic cell can lead to inflammation, oxidative stress, and tissue damage, driving aging. Senescent cell accumulation. Senescent cells, cells that are no longer able to divide, can accumulate with age, secreting pro inflammatory factors that promote aging. Cancerous cell proliferation. Failure to eliminate cancer cells can lead to tumor formation, driving age and age-related diseases. Immune cell dysfunction. Decline in immune function with age can impair the clearance of bad cells, contributing to aging. Autophagy dysfunction. Autophagy, a mechanism for cellular recycling, declines with age, leading to the accumulation of damaged cellular components. Epigenetic changes. Problems with cellular clearance can also lead to epigenetic changes influencing gene expression and driving aging. The accumulation of bad cells is thought to be a key driver of aging and age-related diseases, including cancer, atherosclerosis, and neurodegenerative disorders. Now at the end, I am going to discuss how scientists are learning to reverse aging. Scientists are learning to reverse aging by studying the following methods. 
नंबर वन इज एपिजेनेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शन डॉक्टर डेविड सिंक्लियर एंड हिज टीम फ्रॉम हॉवर्ड मेडिकल स्कूल हैव डिस्कवर्ड दैट द एपिजेनेटिक इंस्ट्रक्शंस व्हिच आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम डीएनए इंस्ट्रक्शंस प्ले अ क्रूशियल रोल इन द एजिंग प्रोसेस बाय रीबूटिंग दीस इंस्ट्रक्शंस द टीम हैव सक्सेसफुली रिवर्स द एजिंग प्रोसेस इन माइस अनदर मेथड टू रिवर्स एजिंग इज रीप्रोग्रामिंग दिस मेथड व्हिच इन्वॉल्व्स एडिंग फोर प्रोटीन्स टू सेल्स research them to an embryonic like state this is one of the unique examples of procedures that reverse cellular aging chemical method a team of researchers from the harvard university of maine and mit have discovered a chemical method for reversing cellular aging which could potentially lead to whole body rejuvenation caloric reaction Scientists are studying the effects of caloric reactions on aging and are looking for ways to mimic its effects. Cell clearance problems disposing of bad cells also known as cellular clearance can contribute to aging in several ways. Scientists are studying how to improve cellular clearance to combat aging. Autophagy Autophagy a mechanism for cellular recycling declines with age. Scientists are studying how to improve autophagy to combat aging. Telomere length. Scientists are studying telomere length which shortens with age and are looking for ways to lengthen it. Mitochondria. Scientists are studying the role of mitochondria in aging and are looking for the ways to improve its function. Epigenetic drugs. Scientists are studying epigenetic drugs such as remodeling which influences dna packing this is all about why do our bodies age and how scientists are learning to reverse aging hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and for any health related question and query you can ask in the comment section below goodbye